हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पेबल्स साइंस ई लर्निंग एस एस सी सीरीज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ साइंस टू द फर्स्ट लेसन इन साइंस टू इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ मेनी टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल्स वी हैव इन आर सराउंडिंग्स वॉट आर मेटल्स what are non metals how to differentiate them there are so many types of materials around us they are metals non metals metalloids these are the various types of materials which we see in our surroundings we are going to highlight about metals and non metals in this chapter but then what are metalloids metalloids are the substances which have the properties of both metals and non metals to say the examples of metalloids can be germanium antimony silicon etc today now we will highlight on the characteristic features of metals what are the features or what are the properties which make up a metal how is it different from other materials let us see the properties one by one now when we talk of metals we think that metals are hard we have seen our surroundings many number of hard substances in our kitchen we use vessels utensils cookers all these are made up of hard substance which are made up of metals so the first characteristic feature i can say of metals is hardness or the metals are hard are there any metals which are not hard yes there are some metals which are not so hard as we see the other metals the metals which are soft and can be even cut with a knife there are two types of metals like this sodium and potassium they are so soft that if i pick them up and i cut with the knife they can easily cut into two pieces so there are some exceptions in the hard all the metals are hard but the exceptions are sodium and potassium now sodium symbol is na and potassium symbol is k these are the exceptions when i say exceptions that means they are metals but they are not hard as other metals so we saw at first property which makes a metal or we, which we can identify that it is a metal that they are hard now second property we can say what is the state of metal some metals are solid very solid like gold silver copper aluminum these are solid materials but are there any liquid materials yes there are some liquid materials which are also metals the second which we say is solid or solid all the metals are solid except mercury which is in a liquid state gallium is also in a liquid state so these are the substances which are not solid they are in the state which is in the liquid state mercury and gallium mercury formula or symbol which we say is hg and gallium is ga this is the second property of metals which we can identify the third property which we are going to see is whether the metals can be hammered or beaten into sheets yes the metals can be hammered or beaten into sheets such property is called as malleability
when we say malleability we can identify with an example which we see in our daily lives we have all seen aluminium foils at home these aluminium foils are also aluminium is a metal but they have been hammered and changed into sheet many copper sheets aluminium sheets iron sheets are used in industries just because these metals are having the property of malleability the fourth property which we are going to see is ductility now what are ductile metals the metals which can be changed into thin wires those metals are called as ductile metals and the property is called as ductility we see this in our surroundings where do we see in our electric circuits we are using copper wires gold and silver we are making use of these wires of gold and silver in making various ornaments i'll tell you a fact 1 gram of gold can be changed into 2 kilometers wire what a fantastic ductile element this gold is this is the property which is seen in metals so the fifth property which we are going to see today is whether the metals are good conductors of heat or electricity we are using copper wires in our electric circuit that means copper is a metal it must be passing electric current and that's why it's a good conductor of electricity when i say this conductor what is a conductor conductor is a substance which allows the heat and electricity to pass through them so the fifth property which identifies a metal is good conductor of heat and electricity now this this is the fifth property which is identifying that metal is a very good conductor now all of you have seen in our kitchen that the metallic vessels which we are using are shining you cycle you have seen the handles of the cycles very shiny gold silver are all shiny that means generally the metals have a shiny appearance and we call this property as lustrous property so they have luster luster means that a substance if it is shining it is called as lustrous substance so generally metals are lustrous in nature they can be polished to give a very good reflective surface so this is another property which is identifying metals all of you have seen a school bell a church bell a temple bell now what is this bell made up of it is made up of metal when i strike a bell with another substance it makes a sound so the metals have a general property of producing sound and this property is called as sonorous that means the metals are sonorous and property is called as sonority so when we strike a metal with another metal it produces a sound and that property is called as sonority and we say the metals are sonorous so these are the properties the seven properties show that this substance which we call as metals must be having these some of these properties this identifies that metals and non metals must be different but how different now what is the difference between metals and non metals when i use the word non metal that means some properties may not be matching with metals that's why there is a difference 